Hello guys and welcome for this new tutorial. In this tutorial you will learn how to use GSA Search Engine Ranker. This software is a link building software and you will be able to create bait link for your website. In this tutorial you will see how to manage the settings of the software in the first part. In the second part we will see how to create an effective campaign. And finally, I will teach you how to increase the success rate of GSA. Uh, you need to know that uh, GSA is a paid software, but you can use my link you see at the bottom to get a reduction. You can also try the software with the trial version. So let's go! Okay, so you have launched the software and you have this window. In this first part, we will see options of the software. So we click on Options here button. The settings window is divided in five parts, as you can see icons here. We have a first submission. In this window, you can set up the number you want to use. You have to set this option in function of your CPU and number of proxies. For example, if you have 50 proxies, I recommend you to use 100 threads. And the second part of this window is for proxy option. And proxies are one of the key to properly use GSA. You have to have private or semi-private proxies. I recommend you at least 10 proxies. For my part, I use private proxies for search engine and submission. That's two. This one and this one. And of course, you have to check use proxies here. And for PR checking and verification, you can use only public if you want. So we can uncheck this too. For email checking, I don't use proxies because some uh, email provider ban you easily if you use proxies. And we can check to this case to stop GSA if we don't have any active proxies. To configure proxies, we can click on configure button here. And here you can see my proxies. So you can add proxies by clicking here and import from file or from clipboard. I really recommend you to uncheck this because most of proxies found by this way are bad. So if you want to buy cheap proxies, you can use, you can use services like buy proxies which offer great proxies for low prices. So after you have added your proxies, you can click on OK. Second part is for CAPTCHA. As you know, CAPTCHAs are a real issue for link building. And for GSA, you have to have good CAPTCHAs service of software. I personally use GSA CAPTCHAs Breaker as it's a software and one-time fee. It can destroy more than 80% of CAPTCHAs. So that's a really, really good software. And uh, for second, I use Death by CAPTCHA, as you can see here. And it's a web service, cheap and very effective. Please take note that CAPTCHA solving is really important with GSA. Next, we have indexing. To get effective, a backlink needs to be indexed. So you have to set an indexing service. For my part, I use instant link indexing, which is very, very effective. But you can also use GSA SEO indexer by check this case. Create backlinks, but if they are not indexed, they will not be effective at all. For my part, I don't have a GSA SEO indexer, so I just check this, this case. Now, let's do with filter options. These settings are really important to avoid to create backlink on bad domain or on backlisted domain. I recommend you to use settings like you can see on my screen. So, so this one. And finally, we have advanced options. The most important setting on this screen is for build list. As you know, GSA will find targets to create backlinks. 
you can save this target for future projects. I recommend you to build verified lists here. So you check this one and you can save your path file. We have finished with settings. We can now create a campaign. Ok, let's go to create the campaign. To create the campaign, we click on the new button here. And we can see that on the left part of the screen, we have all platforms supported by GSM. And it has many, many types of platforms, such as article, blog comment, directories, web 2.0, forum, guestbooks, etc. The platforms you will select depend on the type of black links you want to create. In for example, we want to create quality backlinks only. So I right click and check here, check all. I right click again and I choose uncheck engines that no contextual links. Okay. And you can see that only some platforms are selected. So now we have to fill the settings of the campaign. First screen, as you can see, is for general data. You have first to enter your website address. Here, so I enter my website address. Okay, so I just use the test address. You can use a variant here, URL, and root option to vary your backlink. And it will be more natural. Second important thing is keywords here. I recommend you to enter your own keywords and uncheck this four option to only use your keywords. And now the most important part of the screen is the the anchor part. Here you have to choose the anchor text for your backlinks. You have to use a spin syntax like that. This syntax is very, very important to respect. And I recommend you to use many, many, many keywords to have a more natural profile. And to have more natural backlink profile, I recommend you to set this option like that. And here you can use your brand uh, as, uh, for example, your website name and with the spin syntax. Okay, so now after you have done that, you need to enter your website data such as website title category and description. All this option need to be spinned to avoid duplicate content. So you have to enter this information below. So I will do it. After you've done that, you can go to article manager settings. As we want quality backlinks, it's a real important part. You have to enter here your article you will use for your backlinks. You can add your articles by clicking on this button. I really, really recommend you to use your own article. To get better results, you have to insert your backlink directly into the article, like I will do now. So I, I take my article, my pinned article, and I, I passed it here. So it's a spinned article, and I will spin the title too. So I just uh, 
enter a false name. And now, if I do preview, minimal, I have the preview of few of my articles. And as you can see, I have insert, I have insert in my article the backlinks. And it is very important to do like that. When it's done, you click on OK and you have here your article. And I recommend you to have several articles. You need to have many articles to avoid duplicate content. Okay, so I will now show you options like I use for my project. I disabled this option because I have already my link into my article. I insert image one between between one and two and authority URL. And of course I don't want to submit the same article many times for one icon so I let these options. So now we can set up options of the campaign and you have to take care about these options if you want to create quality backlink. I don't want to, for my part, I don't want to JSA create hundreds of backlinks each day, so I pause the project, yes, after 50 verification for, well, I can see, for a day. So I set up like that. For captures, I ask for all services, of course, and for the other case, JSA will choose random. Other option that I use is send a verified link to indexer here. So I don't have GSA SEO indexer, I uncheck this, but I use another service, so I check this. Because as I said you, it's very important to get your backlink indexed. Now we have to set how GSA will get the targets. We first can filter by country. Here. For example, if you have an English website, you can select only English language. Right click, check by language, English. And as you can see, only some search engines are checked. If you want to use your own target list, you can check these options. But for this project, I will let GSA find the target. Okay. okay, to get only quality backlinks, I unchecked this one. Other option really important is outgoing links on page. I set it at 80. 80, I said, to not get backlinks from spam sites. And I recommend you to check here. I recommend you to check skip seats where this world appears because this world I'm not really really good for uh, for link building. Okay, so now we have to make another option. It's email verification, and email are really really important. I really recommend you to add your own email address such as. Gmail, Hotmail, Yahoo, or other. But you have, and remember it, to have many emails and change them every week or every two weeks to get better results and best success rate. And I also recommend you to set a time weight between two logins here, and you can use, for example, 600 seconds. And after you've done all that, you click on OK. Oh, I forget one thing. Yes. I forget the preview image. So I will put an image. OK, we have now created the campaign and we can start it. We click on Start button and GSA will create backlinks according to our settings. As you can see at the bottom, of the window you have here 
In the right part of the window, here you will have all created and verified backlinks. But you can get them by a right click on your project here and you click on show diagram and you will have backlink created. And before we finish, GSA can manage tired link building. You can create many tires to power up your backlink. Let me show you. I click on new. Here, use verified URL and I checked my project that I have created. Okay. Here I click on check all and all backlink created will be created to the backlinks of my other project. And by this way we can get power to backlink. But don't forget, the one thing very very important is to create backlinks and get them indexed. Ok guys, this tutorial is now over. Uh, I just show you the basics of the software to create quality backlinks. In a future tutorial, I will show you how to use your own list to get better and better results. But don't forget to have good results with GSA. You need to have good proxies, capture service, email, and of course you have to have good articles too. So I really hope that uh, this tutorial helped you to learn how to use GSA. And see ya! Bye bye!